Hello again, everyone. So before I move on to today's rant, I have a few things I want to cover. First, I want to give huge thanks to some great YouTubers who have given me shout outs. So thank you, Johnny Driveby, Deconverted Man, Godless Iowan, BJ Price, and The Lavender Lady. Your kind words and actions have been really encouraging for a new YouTuber. And to all my new subscribers, welcome! I hope you find my little corner of the Internet Insane Asylum worth watching. And lastly, before I move on to today's video, I want to pay it forward. While looking for another video to respond to, I ran across another new small YouTuber. He actually also responded to Views Challenged. Skeptic Pork not only has a great avatar, he's got some great response videos. Please go check him out, and if you enjoy his videos as much as I did, spread the word about his channel. The rest of the audio was recorded several days ago. I purposely left it without much editing to share my actual honest emotion, what I was feeling and thinking. This means it is somewhat incoherent, but it felt more important to have honest emotion than cleaned up wording, so I left it as is. Thanks. So on to what I want to talk about today. I'd really wanted to do another response video, but life and sheer rage that I'm currently needing to vent is pushing this one to the foreground. I want to talk about healthcare in the US. Or rather, I want to rant and swear and fucking yell about it. So if anyone cares about bad language, leave now. If you're looking for facts and details, go elsewhere. This is just pure fucking pissed off. Well, I've taken the time to write up some of this because I'm not a great off-the-cuff speaker, I trip over my own tongues and words and don't speak English. I do much better with a script. But instead of a full script, like I've been using, I wrote more of a bullet points, and I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. So if you're an American or you pay any attention to American politics, I'm sure you know that the U.S. is having a fucking gigantic disastrous debate about our shit as hell American health insurance system. At this point, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't think healthcare is a human right, you are fucking wrong. No ifs, ands, or buts. Every single man, woman, and child on this goddamn planet should have access to high quality healthcare. No one should die from diseases we can goddamn treat. No one should lose their home or go bankrupt trying to save theirs or their children's lives. And I can't fix that for the entire world. And let me tell you how frustrating that is. But our nation could fix it for the people who live inside our borders. The United States is a huge and prosperous nation. If our fucking elected officials got off their collective bought and sold asses and began working now, there could be an up and running program within five years, if not sooner. And yes! That would change our taxes for the businesses, for individuals, for the rich and poor alike. Some of us would pay more, some of us would pay less. Anyway, breathe. <laughs> but, as well as the overall being less, I'm already paying for all the people who don't have insurance. And I'm not talking about the higher fees that we pay for people who have to go to the ER because they can't afford to go in to get their routine health care, for the diabetics who go into comas because they can't get insulin regularly, for asthmatics who aren't using their inhalers and other medications properly because they can't afford the damn things. We're paying for this in a different way. As I've mentioned before, my family is Catholic. And anybody who knows any Catholics knows this tends to mean big families. My family is a little bit of exception, an exception in our personal family because I only have one sibling. My mom didn't do well with pregnancy. She was very sick with them, so she only had two kids. But I have lots of aunts and uncles. I have lots of first, second, and third cousins. A small family reunion is 100 people. And yeah, there are definitely families bigger than ours out there, but we aren't tiny. The reason I bring up family is because my family is why I lost it so badly this week. For the third time in five years, my family, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, all our friends and neighbors are once again putting together a benefit 
to raise money to pay medical bills for one of my families. Five years ago, I had a second cousin who had a stroke at age 39, had insane medical bills. She recovered, thank God. A few years later, we had one from my cousin's three-year-old daughter who was diagnosed with cancer. And she survived and she's doing well, but you can only imagine the bills. And now once again, here we are next month planning for my cousin's husband who has been diagnosed with a debilitating lifelong neurologic disease. And again, bills, bills, bills. Why the fuck do we have to do this? You can't walk into any gas station or grocery store in the Midwest without seeing flyers for these benefits. They happen every weekend. Why are we playing with people's lives like this? My cousin should be able to try and take care of her husband, take care of her kids. She shouldn't be having to worry if she's going to be able to pay for his medications, his treatments, the specialists, not to mention their house. His disease would be hard enough on her and her family without the money stress. But fuck, it's so much harder with this. And the stress, the stress, they've studied this. They know that the stress of worrying about the money is going to make his disease worse and harder to treat. And it's going to affect her health and it's going to affect the kids' mental health. The kids are already going to go through so much seeing their dad with this disease. And now they have to watch their parents fight or worry about money. Because people are going to. It's a human reaction. And if this wasn't enough to piss me off, <laughs> I have relatives who've seen us do all these three benefits, who've seen our family go through this. And we're not low and poor people. We're lower to middle, middle class people. Most of my family works in trades or in higher education and jobs that have required higher education. And I'm not, I'm not trying to say that poor people shouldn't get it either. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying we're middle class people and we have to do this to pay the bills. And yet I have relatives who don't think we should have universal health care. They think the single payer is crazy. And the reason they think it's a bad idea is so fucking bad. They don't want to pay for th people they think haven't earned it. They didn't outright say it like that. But that is absolutely what it boils down to. They talked about a man they saw in a pharmacy who was complaining about his copay and was having an argument and it was a low copay. Who the fuck cares? And they're like, well, I don't want to pay for freeloaders like that and drug addicts. And this is a relative I love and I promptly offended her by saying I didn't care. I thought that was a dumb reason not to have single pair. And they immediately came back. Well, it's not that I don't sympathize with everybody. I think they should have health care. And I bit my tongue, but I wanted to scream. Because clearly, in his case, you don't. And in many cases, you don't if you think drug addicts don't deserve health care. Apparently, some part of this wonderful human being can't see past her tribe. Doesn't see that the ability to pay whether or not you're a good human being doesn't fucking matter. Because if you think someone, anyone, needs to earn the right to health care, you either are or can't empathize with everyone. You clearly have decided that some people deserve health care more than others. And some tiny part of you wants to decide who gets it and who doesn't. Or maybe I'm being judgmental. Maybe they really haven't thought about it and just believe fucking Fox News or Republican talking points that free markets can fix it all. Because that's worked so fucking well right now. I don't even think they remember how bad it was prior to the ACA. My own brother-in-law survived testicular cancer. He's doing great. He's probably never going to come back. But it's a pre-existing condition. So if those protections get removed, or he gets thrown into all the high-risk pools that used to exist, guess what? He probably won't have health insurance. Capitalism and free markets don't work for health care because you're putting a price on fucking human life. 
I never ever would have predicted the answer I got from this relative. And I really do think it's because they've bought the party line because they're older and they watch Fox News and they buy the bull, 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 bootstrap bullshit. But it's still so maddening and depressing that they can't see past it. And of course, it gets even more frustrating when you realize that they're wanting the bootstrap boots bullshit, but they're not realizing that our own family members aren't pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. We're all pulling each other up, and that's just what single pair does. It says everybody pulls everybody else along. And I want to reiterate this. Healthcare is a human right. Everyone, from the worst serial killer to a saint, deserves access to high-quality, good health care. Families like mine are lucky. There are a lot of us, and we take care of each other, and we have lots of friends, and we are basically self-taxing each other to save everybody else. But there are so many people who don't. I have a co-worker who is deciding between following her doctor's recommendation for the next five years or fucking keeping her house. And she has insurance. But of course, the deductible is so high, she can barely afford... She has to has a high deductible so she can afford the premiums. And just like that gun control fight, my atheism makes this point so much more poignant. Because as far as I can tell, we only get this one life. It is so precious. We should be fighting to make sure that everyone gets to enjoy the healthiest, best life they can. So they can enjoy it as much as they can. So they can work if they want. They can study. They can do all the amazing things that contribute and make our society and our children's society better. No one should be wasting a goddamn second wondering if they can afford the treatments that'll save theirs or their kids' lives. So I don't get it. But please, please, please can the United States join the rest of the developed world and get single payer. If you are an American citizen and you are hearing this, please double check and make sure that you are registered to vote. And fucking vote in every primary and general election. Check your candidates' positions on this and any other position you care about. Be involved. Call your representatives every week and remind them that health care is a right. And they should be talking about this still. They need to fix it. Don't let them brush it away and say, we can do this a couple years from now. Years from now is too late for somebody. It's going to be too late for a lot of somebodies. Thanks for listening to my anger. I hope somebody got something out of this because what I got out of it was a good way to get some stress off my mind. Thanks, and I hope everybody has a good weekend.